Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Keeves and welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 3 with the Total Realism Project mod. Uh, we're playing as Japan and the year is October 1941. So, as you can see, we're not quite at the same time as, uh, as the last episode, but we're pretty damn close. So, we're going to just start it up from here. Um, we are at war with the Soviets, of course, and things are going quite well for the most part. Can't complain. Um, my biggest enemy at the moment is actually supplies and my computer, I feel. Um, and this damn having garrisons as uh, defensive units. Let's actually move this guy right there. Garrison as defensive units is, or as anti rebel units is kind of goofy, and I find it's. Real big pain in the ass, but oh well. Once the Air Force is done, then I'll uh, look into redoing the army again and making it a little more. Um, I don't know how I describe it, but uh, a little less of a gong show that it is now. Let's move you over here. Okay, so um, yeah, we're we're pushing briskly into into most Soviet lands. Things are going quite well on that front. Um, you know, it is slow moving because it, well, it's October 1941, uh, and we're trying to do an offensive in Russia and the winter which uh, as we all know isn't necessarily the best method of attack however it is what it is uh, other than that things are going you know nothing else has really changed it looks like the United Kingdom has some rebel problems down here and here wow Whew. serious rebel issues so I don't know if the rebels will actually dissolve and make themselves their own country. I highly doubt it, but it'd be kind of cool if they do. Separate from that of the actual United Kingdom. That'd be pretty wicked if that happens, but I highly, highly, highly doubt it. Well, this is Air Command. What is Air Command doing way over there? Uh, da, 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 these guys can go, I don't know, somewhere. I find with the current range of HQs, you just can't, like on offensives, you just can't keep in range of them at all. Uh, I'm thinking about perhaps moving units as cores together with their cores. Perhaps I might keep the, the lines together, but then again, is it really worth it, right? Uh, is it really something that needs to happen? is the next question that one might ask. So, and I don't know if it is. Okay, so we do have units that are heading over there. They're just really bloody slow. Uh, we have these guys that are here, but they're having supply problems. Uh, nobody knows why. We also have these guys that have supply problems. Again, not sure why. Um, here we go. Supplies have caught up. But for how long, we might ask. Nobody knows. Okay, these guys are doing nothing. We might as well move them up here. Uh, this guy is just sitting there doing nothing. We're going to be grabbing Chita, Chita, Chita here in just a minute-ish. A minute-ish. I don't know how you would describe that. All right. Finally caught up with this son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, I won't be able to get all that back. Oh, we can go there, there, oh, no, there, 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 and then back on down to Tenjin. But garrisons move so slowly, it's going to take them quite a while to get there. These guys, of course, have um, issues with supplies. That's not a not a surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise. We have issues with supplies. Supplies. Uh, okay, let's take the majority of you guys and move up like so to attack him. And then you're going to go there. Those guys will move up as well. While you guys can move that direction. Um, we are starting to get better infrastructure in the area, but it's going to take a while before that's all finished. Absolutely going to take a while. It's just part of the, part of the deal, however. There's not much we can do about that. Um, do, do, do. Our units here, we have some units here that are somewhat close to they have decided for the motherland okay so that is the first event in the Soviet Union um, that might increase the defensive capabilities of the Soviets to kind of push further into or create a defensive positioning, I think. I think. I don't know. We will see what's going to happen with that. However, um, I have a feeling that the Soviets, you know, they're not going to be completely out yet. can go there. Let's put you 49%. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uprising. Oh, we're fine. The uprising has occurred in our garrison position. He'll be okay. No problems there. These guys, however, still have supply problems. Hence the not moving. Let's see if I can get some movement in here a little bit. That guy is starting to get beat up though, which is kind of nice. 26 point. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. He will beat him up with prejudice. It would be nice if we had better supply routes, however. But I think that is the best we're going to get. At least for now. assist that fellow in dealing with that guy. Uh, I don't think we can go any farther north. Nope. That's all. Oh, so that guy is actually going to disappear as soon as we take him out. It's interesting. Uh, that's why these guys are getting no supplies. They actually have very, very poor infrastructure. Supply. Hey, fuck. Oh my god. Okay, so we got this guy, these guys got there, okay. We can go like that. And let's go like that. I 
I don't think the Soviets have quite taken us seriously yet, which is going to be their undoing, methinks. We'll see. Um, let's see what we got for victory points, if we can actually see that map. So we got two victory points right here, Tashkent and um, Smarkand. We have Karaganda up there, Bishk, fucking something I can't pronounce, Novobrisk, Novobrisk. I don't know. Makovsky. Fucking worst names in the world. Who thinks this shit up? Oh, Russians. Right. And then over here we have Irkutsk. Okay. You can stay there. You can go there. Hopefully supplies will actually stay. Like This is getting frustrating right here. Like these guys, their organization's going to shit because they don't have supplies enough to move forward. All I want to do is move forward, son. That's all I want to do. Like, I don't understand why it's so hard to get supplies to the troops on the front. But for some reason... It bloody well is. You know why? No, nope, neither do I. Especially right here, you think that this, you know, being 85%, would have no problem bringing supplies to the front. But for some reason, it does. And that's because of the goofiness that is Hearts of Iron 3's shitty supply system. It makes no sense whatsoever, 90% of the time. And the other 10% of the time, it makes even less sense. Let's get you guys go there. You guys go up there, like so. These guys, for some reason, take uh, a literal month to just move anywhere. But uh, we'll get there, I guess. Eventually, we'll hit a northern line and, I don't know, stuff. And stuff will happen. So that guy's going there. These guys are moving. Let's see here. It is the 25th of January. So it's going to take them two months to go from here to here. and they're, So it's going to take them four months to move two provinces. Pretty awesome. Four months to move from one province to the other. I don't really get how this fucking game it works 90% of the time. But it is what it is, and now these guys aren't moving for whatever reason. Like it's really hard to move our armies forward if we cannot move our armies forward. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? You know? I wish you could just like, whoever deals with the supply thing. We should just can him. Just straight up fucking, like, boom, you're done. He'd be like, please, sir. I can do this. Shut the fuck up, Wilkins. You can't do shit. You're very bad at your job. Because honestly, he's awful. Literally awful. Easily the worst supply guy I have ever worked with. 
And I've worked with my fair share of supply guys. No, I haven't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's... Might as well. We just need to fill that shit up. We need to fill that shit up. You guys can go there. Uh, you guys can't go anywhere because for some god-awful reason. Um, okay. Let's put you here. That's our first bomber. So this bomber actually goes on to the air command. Air command. There it is. Grab that spot there. It's nice. Oh, we're getting more planes. So our planes are, are our bombers are starting to pour on in here. So let's put you onto air command as well, like so. These guys still have no supplies because nobody knows why. In fact, we can't even. Yeah, like. Ugh! Arr, it's so frustrating! <laughs> I'd love to move forward with my troops. You cannot. Why not? Because we can't. Why can't we? We have no supplies. We'll get them supplies. Yeah, we're not doing that right now. Well, why not? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows why they're not getting supplies. Alright, well, let's try and get our units to a location that might kind of provide a little bit of sense into our supply routes or something like that. I don't fucking know. You guys, let's let's put them on the line right so that as the supplies move forward they're going to get th to them I don't know right that's what makes sense to me so that as uh, instead of spreading dudes all over the place big little stack of guys all over the place. We'll just have one dude there and one dude there and one dude there and fucking whatever. So that the line or the supply of the route goes this way and it only has, it does one route and it passes over so you don't have fucking supplies going all over the place. Makes sense to me. Hopefully that does something. I don't know. I, I don't know and I don't think anyone <laughs> anyone knows. All I know is these guys have managed to get their supplies. So let's move them forward. These guys have not gotten their supplies. They got 1% last yesterday. Uno percento. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's a nice one. Cold oil. That's very nice. As, uh, oil is really, really, really important. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Are you going to get there? I don't know. Oh, you stopped moving for whatever fucking reason and no one I can understand. These guys stopped moving. Oh. God. Damn it! 
Uh, I'm going to rage against the machine, I swear to God. He's only been trying to move for like two months. Fucking hell. That guy stopped moving, because why not? Okay, we got there. That's good. At least this front is moving, you know? That makes me happy to see that happening. Uh, okay, so these guys are going there. Uh, you, we'll put you there. And then the last guy, we'll put you right there. You know, it's nice to see this front moving. All the other fronts, or at least the eastern front, has been like, just fucking can't go anywhere. Nothing. Okay, go to... Oh, you! Stop! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Caught him unawares. And by unawares, I mean fully aware. Oh, uh, you and you can go up there. Like so. And then you guys... And you guys can go there and there. Good. Still of no... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, I figured this is probably... Let me see. Yeah, this is probably about a half hour now. I'm just guessing, to be honest. But I assume it's close to a half hour, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this episode thus far. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like the series, please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on how to tackle this awful, god-awful, stupid fucking supply system that is this Hearts of Iron fucking game that enrages me to no end and that has no sense whatsoever and, uh, you know, it takes a literal, like, bajillion years to move from one province to the other and then by the time you're almost there, you run out of supplies and you stop moving. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to fix that, please let me know. I would love to hear it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. And I always love you guys' your comments, feedback, your comments, all the shit you have to say. So don't forget to put that in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching again. This is Keeve signing off. Until next time.